Northern Youth Council of Nigeria has called on the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to revisit the fraud case of the former Abia State Governor, Senator Orje Uzo Kalo. The Northern Group stated that the former governor used the judiciary technicality to evade several saving his full sentence. Therefore, adding that he cannot run for president in 2023 until he is cleared. The group disclosed this in its reactions to the posters of Kalu that have flooded Abuja this week, showcasing him as a presidential aspirant in the 2023 elections. The anti graft agency ESS, EFCC, I beg your pardon, had appealed the federal government's high court the judgment which prohibits the agency from retrying the former governor and his firm, Soluk Nigeria Limited, in 2020. The EFCC has asked the Court of Appeal in Abuja to set aside the September 29th judgment and order a, f order a fresh trial in an alleged $7.1 billion laundering charge against Carlo and his company. The EFCC also wanted the appeal court to order Senator Carlo and his company to submit themselves for a trial in line with the order of the Supreme Court in its May 8, 2020 judgment, voiding the earlier trial and conviction of Carlo and two others and ordering a retrial. The requests by the agency were continued in two notices of appeal filed by EEFCC lawyer Rotimi Joe Jacobs against the two judgments delivered by Justice Equal of the Federal High Court, Abuja. In a similar manner, the NYCN, in a statement signed by its President and Director General, Media and Publicity, Comrade Isa Abubakar, and Comrade Mock Samuel Kuri wants the senator representing Abia North in upper chamber to be re-persecuted. A copy of the statement obtained by Sahara reporters on Thursday retreated that, retreated that the office of the president is not meant for Kanlo and others like him who have looted public funds. The statement read, the attention of the North Youth Council of Nigeria has been drawn to massive online and offline presidential campaigns for Senator Oji Uzo Kalo, the former governor of Abia State, why it is within his fundamental human right to aspire for any office. We see his, his recent move as an attempt to completely rubbish what is left of Nigerians' integrity before the world. Otherwise, how can someone who has been convicted of a criminal offense and sentenced to a term of imprisonment for fraud, a sentence that was further upheld by both appeal and the Supreme Court, and which he was started seven, having have the courage to aspire for the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? It is on record that Senator Oji Kalo hired under judiciary technicality to evade every, every, evade severing, severing his full sentence. We wonder if he and his promoters can see that he is too dirty and tends to stand for any office, including that prisoners, governor, what is still keeping Senator Kahlo in our hallowed red chamber is the inability of the EF60 to revisit his case and start prosecuting as recommended by the court and that technically ordered for his release. When such is done one million times, Senator Oji will be found guilty. Okay? One million times, all courts in the land have found him guilty of stealing public funds. The presumption of innocence 
is no longer on his sides. Therefore, we wish to call on the chairman of the EFCC and the chief law officer of our country, Abubakar Malami San, to tidy up the process of arranging Senator Orji Uzokalo so that he can go back to where he rightly belongs to in order to save Nigeria further embarrassment when they fail to do so. The council will be forced to seek court order to mandate them to do what is expected without. Lastly, we wish to cancel those who have stolen their state resources or have looted our national treasure to stay for away from the 2023 presidential bid as our presidency will henceforth be occupied, occupied by people of honor, not jade beds. <laughs> he said he is more than capable but the fact is the fact remains that we want Biafra that we last till the end of time and not president that will last for eight years and after killing and jihad we continue <laughs> see people who supported or who support APC as see followers of PDP Check the top chamber of APC. It is still PDP member. Nigeria is just like a circle, the same leaders with the same different parties. Cannot deserve to contest, but cannot be president. Even the Northerners know the truth. But type blindly is this comment session. Let's always be sincere. All right, these are reactions from Nigerians. I support him if Tom to his own, he was not convicted. Happy courts exonerated him. The writer should, okay, you should understand what he went to. You should understand what he went through. Someone just dropped that. In my own op opinion, Peter Obi at the moment is the most qualified politician of Southeast extradition, extraction, I beg your pardon, to handle and steady affairs of Nigeria. Oji Uzo Kalu governed Abia State for eight years. Peter Obi did the same in Anambra for eight years. But the performance between both men is there for all to see. So guys, we've all heard it now. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts with us and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.